Hello, and welcome to C++ Week. I'm your host, Jason Turner, available for code reviews, contracting, and on training. Now, I'd like to discuss something here that I seem to be just about the last person to have heard about, uh, heard about this topic, because every time I bring it up with someone, they're already familiar with it. So I, I saw this in a recent meetup that I hosted from Chris Jusiak, who said uh, that he got the idea from Andre Alexandrescu. And then I was having a conversation with Walter Brown during CBPCon 2020, where I mentioned this, and he was like, oh yes, I use this technique all the time. And so, well, I thought I would share it with you because it was definitely new and interesting to me. Now, I just want to try and I've really been trying to figure out how to make the most gentle introduction to this that is actually practical. So I'm going to say I want a function. Now, I want a function that returns the amount of space that is currently allocated in a container. And I'm going to do this in C20 because this technique is 100% C20 with concepts. GCC 10.2, C20 mode, no question here. So I'm going to get some sort of a container here. And I could return container.capacity. That would seem pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and include a couple of headers. And I'm going to turn this on so it is actually running the program. So if I want to assert, I'm going to create a vector here. I expect that this is going to return zero because I haven't actually allocated anything yet. Any vector in any decent standard library is going to be no allocations to start with. So now I'm going to do a, and I expect my allocated size here to be one. And if I push back again, then I'm going to expect my allocated size to be two. And what we, we know that our, the amount of space allocated grows geometrically in our standard containers. So I'm just going to do this. Now, on the third pushback, I expect the allocated size is going to be four because it's going to allocate zero, then one, then two, then four. Okay, that's it did what I wanted it to do. Now, if I've got an array of ints of 10, I expect that this array has an allocated size of 10. This static assert, however, is going to fail to compile because it turns out array doesn't have capacity, which seems like a little bit of an oversight to me. But fortunately, C++ 17's const expert if combined with C++ 20's requires clauses actually gives us an answer to this. I want to do a compile time check to see if there is a capacity. Else I want to just return the current size of the thing. Now, this is a little bit hand wavy and oversimplified. I actually do need something pretty similar to this in some code that I'm currently working on though. So what do I put here? I can put a requires clause, requires expression. A requires expression returns a boolean. So this is why it works in this context. And I can say I requires that container dot capacity is a thing. I require that the thing that I am passing in has a container dot capacity that I can call with zero parameters and that that compiles. And if it compiles, then I go down this branch. If it doesn't compile, then I go down this branch and I have all five of my assertions compiling now and executing with no problem. It's just that simple. 
This can be extraordinarily powerful depending on your use case to limit. Say, does, it, does the type that's passed in here have a particular function? Does it have a particular type def? Does it have a type trait? Is it whatever you want it to be? Does it have that thing? Anything that can be either checked at compile time or checked with a requires expression here. So I don't know what impact this will have on the way that you design code. I find that in the C++ 20 code I am working on at this exact moment that it has actually been very helpful in several cases. So uh, yeah, check this out. I don't think there's any reason to put a link to this in the comments because it is such an incredibly simple example, but I hope it inspires you in your software design. Thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.